everyone welcome back to my channel this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and today I know we normally do small online businesses but it's gonna be a little bit different because I'm doing a premier yarns unboxing but I will be sharing a small online business pattern creator with you guys and I'm gonna be announcing my two in gratitude drawing winners so I'll be back in a sec Okay, so welcome back everyone. As I said, this is Natalie with Natalie's Closet and I'm hoping I'm going to have enough time for everything because again, I don't have room on my camera and I, whatever. But, um, this is a little bit different. Actually, I, the small business that I thought I still had left to share with you, I forgot is actually not to be opened until Christmas or December. I should say not Christmas, but December 1st. Uh, so, but I will have a new small online business next week and probably the following week uh so but i do have this massive box from premier yarns that i wanted to share with you guys as well as the small etsy shop creator owner a uh, shop owner that writes her own patterns i'm sure many of you have heard of her i mean she's huge on instagram and tiktok uh but um yeah, so we'll go over all of that, and I'm also going to be announcing my two Ingratitude Drawing winners. Uh, but first, I would like to welcome any new subscribers, and of course, welcome back everyone else. Thank you all so, so incredibly much for all of your support. I really do appreciate it. Um, and if you're new, I would love it if you'd consider hitting the red subscribe button down below, as well as notification bell next to that. Make sure you set it to all so you're notified anytime I upload a video. And as always, if you guys wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up as well as commenting and sharing, I would greatly appreciate that because it does really help me out a lot. Um, I did also want to mention, and I mentioned this at the end of my live last night, um, I keep forgetting, oopsie, I keep forgetting to mention my affiliate links. I have a couple for yarn shops like Yarn Love and Unique Yarns and I believe maybe one other one, but I also have my Amazon affiliate links. And... Um, I don't know if they kick you out of the program if you don't have somebody purchase anything in a while, um, but um, it's been a little while and I, I honestly haven't even checked it uh, until I, I hopped on yesterday because I was looking for something and um, if you guys, you know, if you guys are shopping on Amazon and you wouldn't mind shopping through my affiliate link every so often, I'm not saying all the time, but once in a while, because I know a lot of us creators have Amazon affiliate links, um, I would greatly appreciate it. All you have to do is click on any of the links in the description box below. You don't even have to purchase whatever is in the link. Um, as long as you click it and anything you purchase within 24 hours of clicking one of those links, I would get a small percentage of. Um, it's like anywhere from like, I think half a percent to maybe 2%. Some things are a little bit higher, but I don't know that I've ever really had anybody buy those types of things, but it doesn't cost anything extra for you. Uh, if you went directly to Amazon or through my link, the price would be exactly the same. It's just, I get a small percentage. Uh, that goes for any of us creators that have Amazon affiliate links. We of course all appreciate anybody that does shop through them. So I did want to mention that because I really don't know if they kick you out <laughs> if you don't have somebody shop through them. Um, and I've not really, I have a couple of people that normally will buy things um, or use my links when they purchase things. But I also know not everybody is always buying things. So I figured, well, I'll just maybe remind you guys just in case you're willing to do it. So thank you very much. Um, okay, as far as my scape is concerned, this is kind of subdued because I, I was thinking about it. The last two years, I had one year, the first year I had the, my um, room um, divider screen behind me. And I really only had, um, I think, a garland, and then I just added stuff to the garland. So I didn't have a lot of stuff, but my mom has a ton of fall decorations. So I'm going to be um, walking my little butt over there. Okay, not my little butt, but anyway, over there to grab some more things. Uh, but this is what, this is my, I love this. It's a wreath, but he's actually an owl. There's a head above, above that right there. There's a head. He's normally on my front door. Uh, but I didn't realize until I started recording and I was watching the fact that you can't see his head So I'm gonna have to adjust that but I also don't have a hammer. It's in my mom's house. So um, Yeah, anyway, I just figured I would bring that to your attention because why not? <laughs> anyway, so let's get on with this because I don't have much room on my camera on my phone right now to record But and I don't really have anything else I can delete so <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do but um 
I have been, as you guys know, I make my adult pillows, which I've been using Bernat Blanket Yarn with. Well, I've also been following somebody on Instagram for a while now, and I absolutely love her patterns. And I don't do amigurumi in the sense that I don't do the small, tiny, you know, or even smaller animals or dolls or anything like that, because it's just not what I like. Nothing I ever make has ever looked like what it's supposed to look like. And it's hard, even though, yes, I use primarily fingering on anything else, I still use a slightly larger hook than I think you really need. And it's just not my thing. But she started making her patterns. She doesn't sell the finished items. She does at craft shows and stuff, but on her Etsy shop, she only sells her patterns. And there are a ton of makers that make her patterns, whether they sell them or not. But um, they, she's been making them larger. And I was like, okay, well, since I've already started my pillows, maybe I'll try my hand at this. Well, the first one I started making is in Bernat Blanket Yarn, but I don't feel like it's big enough for what I'm enjoying doing. And I've realized that these aren't my favorite things to make, even the adult pillows, but they're still a little fun to make, but I really want to be able to enjoy them a little bit more than not, because then I'll be miserable. And that's not what you want to do for your business. So I, she uses a couple different yarns and two of them are from Premier. But when I looked them up online and when she would talk about them, I was thinking they were going to be thicker than Bernat Blanket. So making the animals bigger because it, one of them is a six weight and one of them is a four weight. Now she categorizes the six weight as really a five and a half because it's, it's puffy, but when it's actually, you know, I mean, when it actually gets compressed a little bit, it's more of a five and a half. But even still, I thought that would be thicker than Bernat Blanket. But from what I'm hearing, it sounds like it's not necessarily, but I wanted to, you know, I reached out to Premier and I had a couple questions for them anyway. And you all know, I really don't use big box yarns other than Bernat Blanket yarn. And so I reached out to them. I had a few questions um, and they were great to work with. Um, and I don't know. I may reach out to them about possibly if, if I find that I really like this yarn and it's the size that I'm hoping to have these animals come out to, I may reach out to them and see if they have an affiliate program. I mean, I know they have an affiliate program, but I know they don't always have spaces available. So I, I'm going to check into that. But anyway, so I received this huge box, right? And I was like, yay, I'm so excited. Now I really have to make some of these so that I can use up this yarn and start selling them and then see where that goes from there. But the animal, okay, so the pattern creator is Katie Dids. Um, I think she's Katie Dids 86, if I'm not mistaken, on Instagram. And I don't know, I think it's Katie Dids possibly 86 on TikTok also. But she make, she does uh, so many cute pattern animal patterns and she writes them all herself. Um, she also went viral last year with the TikTok beanie, which was made in retro stripes with red heart. I think that's red heart. Um, is it red heart? I can't remember. But anyway, I think anyway, so, um, she's huge. I mean, she's got like 80,000 plus subscribers or followers on Instagram. And I don't even know what on TikTok cause I don't do TikTok, but, um, I love her patterns and so many, like I said, so many people have started making them. Now with the adult pillows, so many people started making them specifically to sell them. Whereas with these, some people, there are a lot of people that do sell them, but there are also a lot of people that started making them for, you know, to give out as gifts to the family or they have their own kids, that kind of thing. And if you really think about it, the kid, the child market is, or, you know, um, the children's market is huge and right now being in quarter uh, in the fourth quarter is also a good thing so i'm hoping to get a couple of these out the one i started in vernat blanket yarn is this deer now this is her hatching deer pattern um it's adorable and hatching in the sense that she also has a pattern for the egg like you would make an egg and then you would fit the fit him inside and then you can open it up and it hatches type of a thing and a lot of her patterns are like that some of them are um, 
two part bodies, a head and a body, but she also has a pattern where she does it all in one piece. And you can, even though that's not for some of these patterns, you can use that head and body if you prefer one piece versus having a separate head and body. Um, so I was really excited about that. But the other pattern that I want to start doing is, I just want to see if there was a better picture. Okay, so this is, this is the hatching dino and unicorn. That's their little, that's them and their little eggs. Uh, this is the dinosaur and the, these are all paid patterns. So I'm, I can't show you the actual patterns, but um, this is the dino kind of in pieces. So you can get a better idea about the little egg and then him, ha you know, in it and hatching and stuff. So I'm excited about doing that. And I've heard that the dino does a lot better than even the unicorn right now. Um, now, as far as the other pattern, I want to try at some point because I've heard that it's not only um, popular during Halloween, but um, this is the bat pattern. Now, her bat, hatching bat, that's the pattern that is a one piece, one piece head and body, uh, which you can use to make the hatching um, dino and unicorn, which are naturally uh, two parts. But that's him, that's the bat out of his um, egg or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, oh, because my mom was really wanting um, a pumpkin, uh, like a larger pumpkin, I went ahead and I, I got her pumpkin pattern. Even though I have other patterns and there are a ton of free ones, I still, you know, went ahead and got that. Now, this one I'm really excited about. Now, I love the ser the movie the I think there are what two or three of the movies that this particular um, guy comes from uh, but you I guess you really can't call him this is um oh my gosh how am I drawing a blank on his name um oh hello this is a baby Groot pattern but um, she doesn't really call him baby Groot nobody does uh, but. He, well, actually, I think a couple people did, but this one is called Tree, Baby Tree Man. Uh, but I'm really excited to do this one. I am and I'm not because I really don't like doing this kind of detail and stuff like that with animals and whatever. But I love Groot, so I may do this. But I will leave Katie Did's um, Instagram information down below and um, her Etsy shop. So if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, she, I, think she, I think her prices are reasonable for her patterns. But I have reached out to her multiple times. I know she's huge and she's busy and she sells her patterns like crazy. Um, I did reach out to her because she has some awesome holographic sticker collections and she used to sell them every so often. But it was vi it's very rare that she posts them and when she does, they sell like that. I mean, I'm telling you, this her stuff sells like crazy. But um, I have reached out to her to see if I could get a sticker pack of her so I could either share them and or keep them and or whatever, but I haven't heard back yet about that. Miley, I may have to pause this for a second. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. So let's get on to the premiere unboxing. Um, it's all the same two yarns, but this is the box. I mean, it's, it's huge. Um, ow. And I have to be careful with the way I pick it up because it's going to kill my back, which it already has. But let me go ahead and open. Ow! Oh, I'm glad I was being careful because the yarn's like right there. Anyway, I'm also going to have to figure out a place to put this because I very seriously am like growing. I mean, I have like barely any room for Miley and I in our place because... I have so much stuff between all the Bernat blanket yarns and, and stuff and project bags and my 20 pound box of polyfill and everything. Cause this isn't even a big place to begin with. But anyway, um, let's see. Okie dokie. And the, I was on her Instagram live last night and I guess somebody mentioned that, sorry, my hair is all funk, funkalicious. Anyway, somebody mentioned that they had one of the colors in stock of one of these yarns and everybody like flew over there. They sold that. They ended up selling the site out of one of the colors again. And it was like, I mean, she had like 300 and some odd people in her live and that's low for her. Like on TikTok, she normally has like over a thousand, but, um, so, 
she almost she later she's like you know when that person mentioned that you know these colors were restocked i almost didn't want to say anything because everybody just i mean seriously everybody like went straight to premiere and started buying stuff and she's like you know people are premiere is going to be like what the hell just happened but yeah anyway so okay okay i'm getting this all right so the primary or the one the one yarn that i the thicker of the two which is categorized as a super bulky six is the parfait Chum chunky now i've never seen these at michael's um joanne's doesn't joanne's has the other one but I, I've never been able to find it at Michael's. I've never, I've never found these. I found the sweet snuggles, which is one that she uses, but the sweet snuggles is twice the price as the parfait chunky. It is a seven, I believe, but it's twice the price as this and less yardage. So you, I'd have to use, get more skeins, um, by a little, I think, and it's twice the price. So unless it was like a crazy good deal, I just don't know that I would be wanting to do it. And now I see this does actually look thinner than Bernat Blanket. Oh, that is so disappointing, but I don't know if you can see that it is. I mean, cause isn't Bernat Blanket a six also super chunky if I'm not mistaken? Um, this does, but it's so much softer. Bernat blanket is not the same as it used to be back even four years ago, four or five years ago to me, maybe it is, but to me, the colors, at least that I've, I've been using as of late, it's not the same. It's not quite as soft or plush as it used to be. And, um, I am really hoping that this may only be the same size as the Bernat Blanket, but I love the color options in the Parfait Chunky. So this is um, Lilac. So there are, are three of the Lilac. This is a beautiful color. And if you go onto her Etsy shop, you'll see all the colors and stuff that she makes in these, um, all these animals. She has a ton of patterns, but, um, and they're so much fun. She does, I forget the other yarns that she likes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is called Sunshine. There are three yellows. Those are really pretty. Oh, I am so looking forward to working with this because it seems so much softer somehow and like maybe a little plushier. I just really hope that with the other yarn, it's going to be a at least a little bit thicker than Renat Blanket. The only thing is, is, and if you guys, now this is going to be, this isn't going to post until this evening, but let me know what hook size you would use. I'm using with the Bernat blanket, eight millimeter is what is suggested on the label. I use a nine millimeter on the animals, um, which right now I'm only, I've only started the deer, uh, but I'm using a nine millimeter on that. On my pillows, I use a 10 millimeter because I have such tight tension. But with, the, with these two, be technically being categorized like a five and a half and a four weight what size hook would you guys use now this is beautiful this is just white but look how beautiful and crisp that is which i'm really excited about <gasps> i don't have the sparkle i don't know oh man i know which what, what color combo i want to do based on what she's recently done but this is the one that they sold out of last night as right when it opened up and was available they sold it out right sold it right back out this is the key line look how pretty that is is that not beautiful oh i'm loving this so loving this then i got then let's see there are three black which you know i'm hoping you guys can see the color through the you know what maybe i should take one out what do you think but then it's gonna i don't know hold on then there are three of the azure Azure, Azure, which is the blue. So pretty, but I think you guys can see that. Um, and it's coming out pretty true to color too. Hold on, hold the phone. Now, when I was um, figuring out the calculations and talking to them, I was like, you know, I think it's like three, you can get three um, skeins of the parfait chunky to one of the four weight that I'm going to show you in just a second. I think I just showed you. Oh, I didn't show you this one. 
This one is sea glass in the Parfait Chunky, which is very pretty also. The other one is more lime. This is more minty. And then last, but certainly not least, this is hibiscus. Three of the pink, which I think is beautiful. I think that's so pretty. And it's coming out true to color. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, the other yarn, which is the four weight, is the sparkle one. Because, of course, I got to make it sparkly. Um, so, I have... Let's see. Oh, I do have it in that. Yay! I'm so excited. Oh, wait, but no, you use them both. Okay. I got to think about this for a second. But um, this is pixie dust, and this is a four weight, and I believe these are all acrylic. I guess I should have told you that. This is a medium four weight. This is 100% polyester, and the, pix the parfait chunky is also polyester. Um, so here is the what did i just say this is periwinkle do you see can you see the sparkle in the periwinkle i'm hoping you guys can see the sparkle 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 i love the sparkle this is awesome now this this to me is actually looks kind of thinner than a four weight truth be told this looks more like a three weight if you ask me hmm I don't know, but that they color match really nicely, really, really nicely. Um, since I already opened this lilac, you know what? I don't know that this actually color matches that well. I guess it does. What do you think? I would not nah, see. Look, it's it is quite a bit darker, but I'm still going to use them together um, and hoping that uh it works out but oh man i gotta figure out how to do this so that they don't all fall everywhere but yet i can show you guys everything so hold on a second then i then there's sea foam in the pi oops pixie dust do you see the sparkle so pretty and that is going to go with the sea glass, which I do know she um, she does together. So that's pretty good. That's a that's a really good color match. And then then there is the lime. Uh, Sherbert with the sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Can you see it? You can see it. And that's going to go with the key lime, which I think is a pretty, I know she does these two together also, but I think that's a pretty good color match right there. Then there's the sunshine sparkle pixie dust can you see it i think you can see it with the sunshine parfait chunky great match then hold the phone hold the phone hold the phone then the black is stunning oh can you see that sparkle yeah baby i'm not gonna pull the black out because oh, i guess i could so black with black matches but wow i love this one i love the sparkle in that that is stunning Woohoo! hold on then three more got the white sparkle which is beautiful also with of course the white and then oh man I don't think this is gonna work hmm 
Hmm. But there wasn't a, I don't think there was a better one. Darn it, darn it, darn it. This is Bluebell, which is beautiful. I was going to do it with the Azure, but I think this was the wrong blue because there were a few blues. Were there a few blues? I think there are a few blues, but I this isn't going to match. I don't think. There's too much green in here for this blue. Son of a biscuit. So I may see if one... Ow! Sorry, I got stuff in my eyes. Um, if either I can find a better Parfait Chunky that would match this one and do this one maybe two-stranded. I don't know, but man, I'm so disappointed. I was asking them which one they thought would do best, but and, and they were trying to guide me, but oh well. And then, again, last but certainly not least is... Oh, this says limited time only. What, the pixie dust? No. No, okay. I think it's just this pink one because the other ones don't have this particular little, little dot on it. But now these were, these were $7.99 on the Premier website. This particular pink, actually none of these have the price on them. The pink one does. It says $9.99, but it also says limited time offer. Now, this one, or limited time only, this is pink punch. Look at that with the sparkles. Awesome. Um, but see, it says limited time only. The other one doesn't, none of the rest of them say that. And this one says that it was $9.99, but it was $7.99 on their website. Um, but that to go with the hibiscus, which... It's a little bit lighter, but I think overall it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good, actually in real life, it's a pretty good match. It's a, it's a smidge lighter, but otherwise a good match. So <clears throat> I'm thrilled with all of this. I love the sparkle, which I mean, I don't feel that it, I mean, there's a little bit of a difference than if it were with no sparkle, but it's not scratchy. Um, I'm happy with all the color matches except for the Azure and the uh, Bluebell. That's disappointing to me because I really don't think I should even attempt to use it together because this is blue and this has the green in it. So that makes me really, really sad. Um, but I'll go on to their website and check it out. I'm telling you, the, the customer service with Premiere was really, really awesome. So I'm really happy about that because if I do continue to make these, um, and I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to make them, like make one, post it, sell it, and then, you know, I, because I really do want to do made to order because I want people to be able to choose their colors. But at the same time, that can, I, I don't know, I haven't decided if I'm going to do a made to order or ready to ship. Well, the one that I post will be ready to ship, but then the rest of them will be made to order. So I don't know. I'm going to play that one by ear. I may make the listing made to order and then just go from there and just let the person that purchases it know that, you know, this one is ready to ship if they choose that colorway. But now what I'll be able to do is I'll take a picture of each color so that they actually see. I mean, yes, every camera is different and all the color, but, but at least there will be yeah, I got to play all of that by ear. First of all, I need to start making these. Now, I didn't bring over the deer, which I wish I would have. Um, actually, hold on a second. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I only have a few minutes left. So uh, the start of it, which I really should be further along, um, the start of this deer, this is in Bernat Blanket Sparkle. It is the sparkle. This is like the coral color. Here's the start of the head. Now, when I watched her making a dino yesterday on her live, she actually goes a little bit further with the neck um, when it already starts to increase back into the body a little bit before she stuffs it. But I did start um, stuffing it. I'm going to kind of make like a, I'm going to follow the way she says, but this is the head and the safety eyes I chose to do were the green ones uh, or the teal ones, which I found a local small 
I mean, a small online business on Etsy that is local, like in the United States versus having to order them through AliExpress in China. Yes, it probably be more expensive going that way, but you all know I prefer buying small business when I can. And it's, I, there's enough stuff here from China that I don't want to also order stuff from China in China. Does that make sense? So, um, I figured I found this place and they're really cool. They also have a, um, an online shop if you need to buy wholesale, which is really cool too. I like that part. But anyway, that was the head. And then I've got his feet started. Yes, this is a, the teal or the mint green. I can't remember the name of it, but the sparkle. Can you see the sparkle? Sparkle, sparkles. But anyway, um, these are his feet or hers. I don't know, whichever you want to call it. Um, this is the nose. I could get safety nose, but I didn't have time to get it. I actually, I probably could have, but, um, and then here are the ears. I have like eight mile long, um, ends so that I can sew them in, but here are the ears so far and you all know I don't like sewing things together so the fact that I'm doing these honestly the only reason I'm doing it or decided to do it is because it only doing them larger because then I don't mind it quite as much and there's not that much sewing on but we're gonna play by ear I'm gonna see how this one turns out I'm hoping to get the body done I still need to do his arms and the antlers and the tail so we're going to play it by ear, see how it goes. And well, now I have a boxy yarn that I have to use for these, if not to just get rid of, to use up the yarn. But anyway, I don't have much time left, but I hope you enjoyed this premiere yarn unboxing. I know it's on a small business Wednesday and I apologize for that, but I did introduce you to Katie Dids. For those of you that don't know her, uh, check out her Etsy shop. I don't have a coupon code or anything. I, I wasn't able to get a response about that and I, and I get it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than I have had done because I don't, I don't normally get big box yarns, but, um, yeah, premiere was awesome. I, I love, it was great doing business with them. So fingers crossed this all works out and that it's possibly a little bit thicker than Bernat blanket, but I guess we'll see. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. This isn't going to post probably until this evening, but still have a great rest of your Wednesday. Um, you guys will see me on the next getting to know you, which will likely be this weekend. Um, Oh, wait a minute. I need to do the ingratitude drawings. Let's do it really quick. Okay. Sorry that I waited until the end, but my ingratitude, my ingratitude drawing winner for all of my members that were members in October. Let's see. Okay. I'm trying to pick one. All right. Crochet every day with Judy is my, I don't know if you could read my handwriting, but um, is my member winner. So yay, congratulations, Judy. Just go ahead and email me or message me or whatever um, with the $5 um, pattern that you would like to get. And I will go ahead and check with the creator, make sure they're okay with me buying it and gifting it to you. And I will get that to you as soon as I can. It's up to a $5 paid pattern. If you don't read patterns, let me know. We'll figure something else out, okay? And now for my um, Ingratitude Super Chat winner. This is a Brighton bag. <laughs> a little shopping bag. All right. I'm now looking. I think there's only one here. <laughs> my Super Chat... <laughs> Um, in gratitude drawing winner is Granny D. Congratulations, Granny D. Please message me with a $5 pattern of your choice. Or if you don't want to do a pattern, we'll figure something else out. She's a very stubborn woman. She is. I love you dearly, my dear, dear friend. But please message me, um, letting me know you saw this. But congrats, so congratulations again, Judy and Granny D. I'm so glad I didn't forget to do that, but I literally have like three minutes left before my, my camera cuts off. So, or my, my phone cuts off. So have a great rest of your Wednesday, a great rest of your week. I will see you on the next getting to know you. Otherwise it'll be Monday's video, but I'm pretty sure there'll be a getting to know you. 
Um, Miley says hi and bye to her peeps. My mom did say to say hello, and we both thank you so much for all of the prayers for us and our friends. Thank you and the positive thoughts. We really appreciate it. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. And remember, if you need extra prayers but don't want to share publicly, email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com, and we will add you to our private prayer list. And I'll mention it anonymously unless you tell me you don't want me to mention it at all on camera. So um, also, and I, well, I meant to say this in the beginning, if you would like to be added to my Christmas card list, um, and you know I don't have your address or you're not sure if I do, email me again at natalies.closet at yahoo.com with your mailing address and I will send out a Christmas card. If you include your birthday month, you may also get a birthday card. I'm all warm now. Um, anyway, but stay safe and healthy. I love you guys to pieces and I will see you soon. Have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye.